Hey guys, what's going on? Joshua Elder here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about SEO for beginners and specifically keyword research. And by the way, if you can hear any knocking in the background, there's somebody that's actually working on the house next door. So I apologize if that's in the video. Nonetheless, appreciate you. For those of you that are back to the video, if you're brand new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe because right now I'm uploading videos on a daily basis that will teach you how to build a life and business full of freedom, passion, and fulfillment. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive into the content. So let's talk about the basics. Um, I plan on doing a video series for you guys. This may be potentially video one, and uh, we're going to talk about the groundwork here, which is the uh, with it, which is keyword research. Okay, so number one, what is a keyword when it comes to search engine optimization (SEO)? And if you don't know what SEO is, it's basically the ability to rank at the top of the search engines and via YouTube for different keywords and key phrases. Now, a specific keyword is a word or phrase that is typed into the search engine. It doesn't matter how long it is or how short it is. It could be one word, it could be three words, it could be five words plus. So in this example, we have best eye wrinkle cream reviews, and then we have how to build muscle and lose fat at the same time. Okay, so a keyword is basically just anything that's being typed into the search engine, okay? Now, keyword research, is basically the ability to brainstorm and find profitable search phrases that people are typing into the search engines. Now you can use tools like the Google Keyword Planner. You can use keywordtool.io, which is actually a paid uh, tool. And they're used to help you brainstorm keyword ideas within your niche along with their search volume. So if you wanna learn how to do keyword research the right way, I will link up a video right here in the top right or left-hand corner. It's a little exclamation there. Go ahead and click that. You can learn a little bit more about keyword research and how to perform it correctly using what I like to call YouTube instant search. Now, Google Keyword Planner, it can still give you some rough estimates, but when you use the instant search feature, whether you want to rank websites or you want to rank videos, if you want to rank websites, use Google's search engine itself and their instant search feature. Again, if you don't know what that is, that video will explain that to you. If you're doing keyword research with YouTube, you're gonna to wanna to use YouTube's instant search feature to find out what topics are in demand. So what's so cool about keyword research is when you type in a specific keyword phrase, you can know things like what keyword phrases are popular, the search volume of, of a specific keyword if you're using the Google Keyword Planner. So it's all about supply and demand. You do not want to supply a topic of conversation and value within that topic if no one is actually searching for it, right? And so you want to make sure that you're creating content around specific key phrases and keywords that people are typing into the search engine, okay? So that being said, now what we want to do is we want to dig down deeper and identify the difference between long tail keywords and short tail keywords. This is the main reason why people fail is because they catch people at the beginning of their search versus the end of their search. So for example, a long tail keyword, these are the keywords that we want to create our content around via videos or text content, depending on if we're, you know, optimizing a video on YouTube to rank or optimizing an article on our blog to rank in Google search engine. What you want to do is you want to pick keywords that typically have five or more keywords in the search phrase. So for example, if we look at this keyword in the what is a keyword example on how to build muscle and lose fat at the same time, that's called a long tail keyword. We've identified that somebody wants to build muscle and not just they want to build muscle, but they want to learn how to build muscle and lose fat at the same time. Okay. Best eye wrinkle cream reviews is a great keyword as well. What we've done is we've caught somebody at the very end of the research process or very much at the end of the research process. They're just looking for a specific review to sort of push them over the edge to make a buying decision or not, or maybe go with an alternative product. Okay, so let me talk about this in a little bit more detail using some other examples. So long tail keywords, typically if the keyword's longer, then it's gonna be more targeted. We're gonna know exactly like have more information about what the consumer wants there's gonna be less competition and most importantly here are a few examples 
For example, online businesses for stay-at-home moms versus like online businesses. Can you see how ambiguous online businesses would be? Like what type of online business are they looking for? You know, are they looking for a drop shipping, e-commerce business, affiliate marketing business, e, you know, email marketing business, domain flipping business, automated websites business? We don't know. But once you add in online businesses for stay-at-home moms, that's now given us more information to better help that customer. They're more towards the end of their research process. It would be even better if they typed in online businesses uh, for stay-at-home moms, such as affiliate marketing. So for example, affiliate marketing businesses for stay-at-home moms is more targeted than just online businesses or e-commerce businesses for stay-at-home moms. Okay, same thing with how to train your dog to stop barking. Still a long tail keyword phrase because you've got five or more keywords in the keyword phrase. And if you want to go even deeper, how to train your golden retriever to stop barking, right? So what you want to do is you don't just want somebody that doesn't have clarity as to what they really want because you want to catch people when they have credit card in hand. You want to find buyers you don't want to necessarily find information seekers and consumers. Now, you want to have a balance of both because hopefully some of those information seekers will see your value because you provided so much value that they decide to buy from you, right? So it still works. It's just there's a little bit more work if you're going for short tail keywords to get the sell. There's, you're going to provide have to provide more content. Um, the barrier to entry to get them down your funnel is going to be a little bit more difficult. You're going to have to create more content to really get them to a point where they're ready to buy and they trust you. Another last example is how to lose 10 pounds in two weeks. They're not just looking to lose weight. They're not just looking to lose 10 pounds, but they're telling you how to lose 10 pounds in two weeks. Even better, if they were typing in how to lose 10 pounds in two weeks for women. So, we want to go for keywords that have at least five or more keywords in the keyword phrase. And we want to gather as much information as we can. And we want to use keyword tools to dig deeper within a specific long tail keyword to find out maybe they're not just searching for this specific long tail keyword, but maybe they're going even deeper. So you know whether it's male, female, maybe you, you know, you know where they want to lose weight. So if it was like how to lose 10 pounds in two weeks for women in my belly, then that's a ton of information that you can use to create quality content around because it's very defined, it's very particular, and it's going to make it that much easier for you to create content because the consumer is so clear as to what they want, right? Short tail keywords, as I said, it's keywords that have less than five or six keywords in the search phrase. It's going to most of the time be less targeted. You know, somebody might be typing in acai review. Um, or acai um, turbo weight loss formula review, right? That's probably more than four or five keywords. But sometimes there's keywords that have less than five or six keywords in the keyword phrase that are still very defined. But as far as like a general uh, rule of thumb, most keywords are only going to be defined if they're five or more keywords in the keyword phrase. Hopefully that makes sense to you. But in most cases, short tail keywords are going to be less targeted, more ambiguous, and there's going to be more competition, which makes it harder to rank. So examples, make money, lose weight, and start a business. Okay, this is a pretty cool chart right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link to this handout here so you guys can get access to it for free. I will link that up in the description below so you can go ahead and get access to that. But this is kind of like the cold to hot buyer keyword thermometer, thermostat. So we don't want to catch people when they're typing this kind of stuff in 4K TVs, dog training, lose weight, and make money. Very general terms, broad terms. Yeah, they get a lot of search volume, but you're having to catch people at the beginning of their search, a lot more work on your part. But you can see these long tail keyword phrases you understand that not only have they maybe gone to the store and found a 4K TV that they like, but they wrote down the model number. Maybe it was from Best Buy. Maybe it was from a different electronic store. And then they went home and they went to the search engine 
and they type out the model that they got on the back of the TV from the store. Why did they do this? Well, now they're searching for the best price. All you got to do is maybe lead them to his, to an Amazon affiliate product or your own product where they can purchase this specific product, whether it be a TV or something else. Another one, stop my golden retriever from barking, not just dog training. You know the specific problem that the owner is dealing with. You know what type of dog they have. So you can create a video that just serves golden retrievers because they might have different behaviors than maybe like a Labrador. Same thing, how to lose 10 pounds in two weeks for women, how to make money online with affiliate marketing where they type in make money. They don't even know if they want to make money online, what vehicle, what business model they want to use. They don't know a whole lot of information. So if we were to summarize this video, here are six tips to finding the perfect buyer keyword. Number one, keyword is long tail. Number two, you want to catch them at the end of their search. Number three, is there a pain in the market? Number four, avoid free keywords, freebie seekers. Number five, go for review keywords. So if a keyword is not long tail, five or more keywords in the keyword phrase, but it has a re the word review in it, chances are it's still very targeted because they're just looking for review on a product and product review videos do great when you're looking to make quick commissions and make quick money online. Number six, is your product or service a solution to the keyword? So the keyword that they're, they're typing in, is it congruent with the product that you're offering? You don't want to be offering, for example, hammers to people that are looking for sewing kits, right? It's just not relevant. It's not congruent. So that being said, I hope you got value from this video. If you did, give me a like, comment below. What was your biggest takeaway from this video? And uh, if you want to learn more about SEO and how to build an online business from scratch, check out my resources section in the description below and uh, subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.